Hi everyone, this is Bethany again. I am going to walk you through the Story Tent platform. So first step, how do you get to the Story Tent platform? So any of the links that we sent you will take you there, but if you also want to type it into your browser, that works. So this is what you do, www.storytents.org. Uh, the www is actually really important. If you don't type it into your browser, it will take you to the wrong website. So if you just type storytents.org, um, so make sure you include the www when you're typing it. All right, so that will bring you to this cute landing page. As you can see, we're sponsored by Humble Bundle. Um, so you can go up to this right corner right here, and it says Reader Login and Volunteer Login. You are a volunteer, so click Volunteer. And you are going to log in. So the login you use will be the login you created when you registered for the program. If you haven't done that yet, that's okay. You will do it soon. Uh, so I have a sample one. It's Bethany Volunteer. Please note that the username and the password are case sensitive. So if I were to put a capital B here, I would not be able to log in because my username is all lowercase. And my password. And then log in. All right. So this is your, your volunteer landing page. So I'm going to walk through all the tabs in the top left corner with you. So this first tab, Story Tents, it's just going to take you right back to this landing page here. And the next tab is Notes. So this tab you're going to get very familiar with. This is where you find your reader development report. I apologize that my computer is going a little bit slow right now. There we go. Okay, so this is our reader development report. So this is what you will fill out after every single session. If your session didn't take place, like the child unfortunately didn't show up, you still are going to fill this out and you're going to answer this question, no, did your session take place today? So you're going to fill out all those questions. I know it looks like a lot, but it goes pretty fast. And then you're going to press submit here. So you're going to do that every session. And here's another tab that you're going to use every single session. So it's reader progress page. So this page is how you're going to award your reader book bucks, how you're going to add book bucks to their profile, and also how you can check if they read anything during the week. Um, so this is what it looks like. I am going to refresh the page because these books um, don't show up for some reason unless you refresh the page. So I'm refreshing the page now. And as you can see, me and my fake reader have read quite a few books already. If you haven't read any books, nothing will show up there, and then once you submit them, it will add there. And then this tab, you actually don't have any access to editing it. This will be what the kid adds for books they read during the week, so without you. So as you can see, my reader has read Mr. Got to Go. Please note that these books won't update, so you'll just have to look on here and see if any new books were added. I recommend going on to this page before every session and just kind of preparing yourself because there's a lot of books there. You're going to have to ask a lot of questions, but please do check it and encourage your kids to log their books during the week so that they can get more book bucks for it. All right, so now how to give book bucks. So you can go up here and say add book bucks. So let's say your reader read a whole bunch during the week and they read two books with you, so they deserve 13 book bucks. Um, make sure you also tell your reader how many book bucks they're getting before. Just don't make it up at the end of your session. Um, so I'm going to write 13. And before I hit submit, I want you to notice that right now my reader only has 26 book bucks. So once I hit submit, that book buck number went up to 39. Now if I were to put an incorrect character here, so maybe if I type out 7 instead of typing the num or writing the number 7, um, it won't work and my book bucks do not go up. So just uh, pay attention to what you're writing as book bucks. And then for their book list, so this is where you're going to add any books you read during your session, and you also might have to add books that they read during the week if they did not log it themselves on this books read outside of story time. So just ask them if they've read anything outside the week that they forgot to log. So I'm going to say me and my reader read two books. So we read Emma 
and the coyote. And I'm going to hit submit. So as you can see, Emma and the coyote are now down here. And then we also read Horton hatches the egg. I'm going to hit submit again. And it is down here. So that's just kind of your bread and butter of how you're going to give out book bucks. Um, so do please check this every week to see if there are any books they read outside of the week and encourage them to read outside the week so they can get even more book bucks. All right, and then the scheduling page up here. So this is another way that you can log on to your Google Meet meeting with your child. So this link will open up to your Google Meet video and your child, um, their page has that same link there. You can also get it through your Gmail calendar, whatever works best for you. Just make sure your device is always logged into your Gmail account. Um, because if it is not and you click this link, it will give you a notification that you are waiting to be let in. And if that happens, you just need to contact us right away because we won't get notified that you're waiting. But if you just contact us right away, we'll get you in there. Alright, and then the shop tab. So this is all the prizes that the readers can buy. Please note that they are categories. So if your reader buys a Barbie, they're not necessarily going to get this Barbie, but they're going to get a Barbie. And same with all these ca categories, like bubbles, car sets. So as a volunteer, you cannot add any of the prizes to your cart. You can just look at them. The reason we enabled this for you is that if your reader is having problems logging into their account, uh, I really highly encourage you to share your screen and share the prizes with your reader so that they can still pick one. They will have to log into their account and buy, um, like purchase the prize of their book box still. Like you can't do that for them, but with you having access to it, you can at least have them pick out a prize and start reading towards a goal. Um, so like if they pick out a Lego set, they're going to want to read uh, enough books so that they get 35 book bucks and they can finally buy that. Uh, so this is a good tool to motivate them. Okay, and then lastly, the resource tab. So this tab is still getting a little updated right now, um, but you can see this link. It says digital book library right now. It might say something a little bit different in the future, but there'll always be a link there. And it is going to take you to this Google Drive. It's loading. So this Google Drive is going to be volunteer resources. So eventually there's going to be some activity ideas here as well as some talking points, maybe some do's and don'ts. Um, but right now we just have the bin of ebooks. I'm just going to click on this really fast to show how easy it is for you to use this with your reader. So if your reader wants to choose a book, they can, you can just pull this up and share your screen and kind of read through all the titles with them. And let's say they want to read this Hector book. You can actually click on this hyperlink here and it will take you to that book to read. I'm not going to do it because my internet's a little slow. Um, that is an overview of the volunteer page. So now I will go into the reader page with you. So I'm going to log out. So this is the reader login. You will never ever have access to the reader login. I just have a sample profile that's linked to me as a volunteer, so I'm just going to show you what they are seeing in case you need to help them walk through anything. So the reader login, they will have created their reader login the same as you during registration, and their username is case sensitive, so just keep that in mind if they are getting confused. If they forget their login, that's completely okay. Reach out to us or encourage them to and we can get them a login. All right, so this is what their home page looks like. So as you can see, their book bucks are the updated value that I had given them, so 39 book bucks. All the books that they have read, if you notice, the last two down here are Emma and the Coyote and Horton Hatches the Egg. So the new, two new books that I added are in their books that they've read. And then let's say that I, as a reader, have read Are You My Mother During the Week? And I'm going to submit that. So now I have another book in the books I read 
without my um, volunteer. So you would see that updated on your volunteer profile. It's a good thing for you to check. Um, so now the story tent, same thing with them. If you press story tent, it brings it back to the landing page. Their home page is also the landing page. <laughs> and then scheduling page. So this is that same page that you had, the scheduling page. This is a link that will be linked to your volunteer profile. And then for them, their shop is going to look a tiny bit different than yours. So as you can see, they have the button that says go to prize page. So I, as a reader, am really interested in buying a mystery $10 prize. Because I see some slime in there and I'm kind of hoping I get slime. So I'm going to go to the prize page here and I'm going to add it to cart. So as you see, a $10 mystery prize was added to cart. I do have to go to my cart, so I'm going to press the cart tab, and as you can see, I have a $10 uh, mystery prize, and when I press place order, that is going to subtract from my book bucks here, so it will be 29 book bucks, and that order will be placed, and we will send it to them for free. So that is just your overview of the StoryTent platform. If you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to walk you through it so you feel prepared for your sessions. Thank you. Bye.